Hello, I'm Nalene Masto and welcome to the Liberty A-League Highlight Show. The first match of Round 10 kicks off at Amy Park as Melbourne City take on Brisbane Raw. Dario Vitisic's side will be gunning for back-to-back wins over the Raw in Victoria for the first time since January 2017. And their confidence is high following a derby win over Melbourne City. The visitors will look to snap their seven-match winless streak in the Liberty A-League and the highly anticipated return of Marielle Hecker could provide a much needed boost. The Brazilian forward is welcomed back into the matchday squad after spending more than a year on the sidelines due to an ACL injury. Your commentators are Leah Blaney and Taryn Heddo. Here's Brisbane again winning the ball high up the pitch to Fryer. Sean Fryer will square it, goes beyond stop, Corbin shot blocked, Corbin again! And she has her goal! Brisbane Raw take the early lead! And it's Mia Corbin with the strike. Brisbane not able to get out quickly that time. And now a miss hit pass right into the path of Amina Rekic, who equalizes for Melbourne City. Well, she's been threatening the Bosnian international and she's made it one all here. Right again to Torpy. Torpy beats one player, cuts inside to Galic who shoots, deflection and Ekic makes it two in quick succession for Melbourne City. Moving a microphone out of the way, delivers in, and into the back of the net for Melbourne City. Hannah Wilkinson makes it three for the home side. Here's Holly Palmer with a corner for Brisbane. Whipped in and a header from McCormick. Well, she gives Brisbane a lifeline early in this second half. Here comes Hannah Wilkinson, 24 shots for the Raw, only six for City. They've just been so clinical with those shots. Amina Rekic cuts inside, shoots, and it's another goal for Melbourne City. Amina Rekic with her hat trick. A wonderful day out for her, and it's 4 2 City. Ball taken away by Rekic, but she regains possession. Della Harp squares it to the back post, just wide from Fryer. That was inches away. Can they add a third goal? Mia Corbin strikes. Well, another error playing out from the back in this game and it's given the Raw another window to get back into it. Mia Corbin scores her second and we're back to 4-3. Here's Grosso looking to restore that two goal lead for Melbourne City. She'll go herself, Grosso. Well, Silkowitz had to be good there. Punch the ball over the crossbar. Pass went beyond Policina. She'll get it back eventually. Policina Hughes to Galich. And Thompson did really well to come across. Well, no, she didn't because the referee has awarded a penalty. Melbourne City do have the opportunity to restore their two goal lead. Rihanna Policina, lovely penalty. A beautiful dink into the corner. And it's now 5-3 to the home side. Melbourne City get the better Brisbane Raw in an eight-goal thriller with hat-trick hero Amina Ekic stealing the show. Reigning champion Sydney FC head into their clash against Wellington Phoenix in fine form, undefeated in their last three Liberty A-League matches. The Sky Blues receive a massive boost with the return of star midfielder Mackenzie Hawksby, who will remain at the club until the end of the season. However, the Knicks will also be full of confidence, having defeated Sydney 1-0 in their last meeting. Teresa Palias and Teo Palazzeri are calling the action. Underlapping run from Fenton, the cutback is on for Keane, clean off the line. It wasn't the fastest moving shot and that allowed the body position to be spot on there from Foster to save the day for the Phoenix and keep the scoreline at nil-nil. Well, it's a fantastic goal line save from Foster there and fantastic play by both teams. And now Vine starting from deep in the defensive half. Princess Abini is a lone hand up top. Abini tries to lob the keeper from distance. Oh, that would have been spectacular. Princess Avini could not bring it down. Well, why not from that position? It was definitely on. Had to be perfect. She had a good go of it. Here's Vine. Has Hawksby. Hawksby! Side netting. 
Half the ground thought that one was in. But it's a rueful shake of the head from Mackenzie Hawksby. Speckmeyer able to win the ball back, though. You see Fenton, who's on a yellow card, defending very carefully and defending very well. Taylor Ray breaking into open field. Pops the ball over the top to Courtney Vine. And this is textbook Courtney Vine. Round the goalkeeper. Can she finish on the tight end goal? Side netting only. Side netting only. Well, that was the ball from Taylor Ray. That's right, and a, perhaps a bit of fatigue as well. Cross comes in here, and the header is in! It's Janaya Dos Santos! Just her second appearance for Sydney FC! And she scores her first Liberty A-League goal at what could be a final time! An outpouring of emotion for the 18-year-old. It's Sydney 1, Wellington 0. Well, it's a dream return for Dos Santos. Cox now. Great step around and the shot's on and Jada Wyman makes the save. Phoenix have come to life. And they do have a response in them. Longo gets another chance. Winham straight off the bench. Cox. And now the follow-up is held on to Longo charging through, but it wasn't on target as Jada Wyman dived onto the ball. Oh, this will Winham having an effect off the bench immediately. Here's Cox, head check off for who's on in the middle. Speckmeyer misses the header. That was the chance. And Mariana Speckmeyer knows that that is as good a chance as Phoenix have had for 1-1. Cox. A pot shot! And Jada Wyman went flying but did not touch the ball. It's a goal kick. And Isabel Cox, I feel as though once she is up to speed and starting, she is going to prove a revelation. What a moment for Janea De Santos, who scores the match winner off the bench in just her second appearance for Sydney FC, her first ever Liberty A-League goal. Canberra United will be hoping to resurrect their form with a much-needed win over Western United as they sit bottom of the table. Negos Popovic will look to star midfielder Vesna Milivojevic, who has scored from six big scoring opportunities this term, two more than any other player in the Liberty A-League. Meanwhile, Western United are riding some momentum, having picked up three wins in their last five games. This match will also mark a special milestone for Matilda star Chloe Legazzo, who we set to make her 100th appearance in the competition. Leah Blaney and Taryn Heddo are on the call for this one. Dealt with, but back to Jackson. Heavy touch, Christofferson. All the way through, Milivojevic. Searching for options, so dangerous in this position. Vesna Milivojevic, side netting. But another one of these growing shots for Canberra. Ball forward from Ilioski, Flannery. Lovely ball through, Sasha Grove squares it, and Heyman, she gives Canberra United the lead, goal number 98 for the veteran. She knows how to find the back of the net. She certainly does, and that was a fantastic little build-up by Canberra United. They've got players receiving between lines. You see Nikki Flannery on the half turn there, the weight of the pass, the proactiveness of Sasha Grovid, and once again, she gets her head up, she picks out her player. Um, really nice front third action by Canberra United and deserved goal. Canberra, they've been on top so far, but we know how quickly this game can change. Here's Adriana Taranto with the shot and a wonderful save from Lincoln. Palms it over the crossbar. Here they come again, Papadopoulos has the ball taken away by Jackson, whose back pass goes astray. Had it Keane in space, Keane saved by Lincoln. He ate up. Ball squared in and a shot from close range. Chloe Lincoln is there again, prevents Savicki from scoring her first goal in the Liberty A-League. Savitsky, back to Papadopoulos. Plenty of space for Legazzo to whip it in. It was Mel Taranto, rather, who whipped that ball in, but cleared away. Vlanich now back into the mixer towards the back post. Adriana Taranto puts the ball in the back of the net for Western United. She equalises. It has been coming in this second half. And it's one all in Canberra. We'll square it to Jacqueline Savitsky. Savitsky shoots! 
hits the pies for now on the rebound. It's in the back of the net. What will the ruling be? It's offside. Well, Western United, they thought that they may have had their winner. They called back for offside. Can they get forward in numbers? The Garzo's there. So is Jacqueline Savitsky, who has an opportunity to shoot just wide. Jacqueline Savitsky has been involved in everything in this game. And that was a wonderful opportunity to win it. Adriana Taranto's 76-minute equaliser rescues a point for Western United, who fought back in the second half. Join us after the break to watch plenty more Liberty A-League action unfold. Welcome back to the Liberty A-League Highlight Show. Wanderers Football Park played host to a clash between Western Sydney Wanderers and Melbourne Victory. The Wanderers will be hoping to return to the winner's list after suffering a 1-0 loss to Adelaide United in the previous round. Sophie Harding has notched six goals this campaign, now just one away from equaling the record for the most goals scored by a Wanderers player in a single Liberty A-League season. Victory will also look to bounce back from their 1-0 defeat to Melbourne City and Matilda star Alex Chidiak will hope to provide a timely boost. Campbell Johnson is on the call for this one. Even possession at the moment. Both sides having a good crack of it, but they give it away, Rankin. Here's Aquino on the edge of the box, blocked. Wynette across the face and held on to by Kaylee Collins. Western Sydney giving away the ball far too easily. And Melbourne victory not pouncing on it. Here's Rue. Former Wellington Phoenix player. It's a good ball for Malia Morris. Uses her body well too. Here's Morris towards the byline and firing it into the side netting. Made the angle tough for herself, but what a good use of the body. From the corner, delivered in, falls to the back post and driven in by Amy Harrison. A captain's goal and her first of the season. And Western Sydney Wanderers hit the front against a side they haven't beaten in over eight years. Their first shot on target of the game. It fell to the back post. And Amy Harrison needed no invitation. Matos. Can they add another before the break? Malia Morris, fairly quiet so far today. Into the feet of Sophie Harding. It'll find its way to Holly Caspers having a strike this time. And just floating into the arms of Lydia Williams. Not struck with the venom. Here's Morris. Caspers. That's a brilliant ball for Apostolakis. Wow. A sensational ball through. And Alexia Apostolakis makes it two for the Wanderers. Fantastic play from Robbie Hooker's side. And the teenager Doubles their advantage. Apostolakis, can they make it three? Threaded through for Vicky Bruce. Firing it at the near post. And Lydia Williams standing tall. Resolute. Wouldn't be surprised if you see a bit of a training ground move here towards the back post and Kayla Morrison almost heading it in. It took a touch on its way through. Checker struggling to deal with it. Caspers, four assists so far this season, no goals. As Lydia Williams palms it wide. Wouldn't she like to break her duck? The leading assister in the league. The strike, not enough on it. Now this time the Wanderers hit the woodwork. Holly Caspers again. She's well and truly knocking on the door now as they go once more. The Wanderers and their eight-year wait for a win over Melbourne Victory thanks to goals from Amy Harrison and Alexia Apostolakis. 
New Year's Eve action kicks off at Industry Group Stadium as a red-hot Central Coast Mariners take on Perth Glory. The Mariners head into the clash off the back of a 3-0 win over Canberra United and will be looking to go three games unbeaten. As for Glory, they've only managed to pick up one win in their last five games. However, Millie Farrow will look to provide a clinical edge, having scored each of her four goals this season from big scoring chances. Your commentator is Grace Gill. Setting right on the edge of the 18-yard box, and it will be a high press. Oh, well, that's an urgent one. A, a howler of a mistake from Taryn King. A striker's instinct poached into the back of the net. A fist pump of apology, but Perth and great pressure have taken the lead. That's a good ball through to Badawia. The run's read really well. Badawia can shape up. It's a great save from Morgan Aquino. Badawia's eyes lit up as she looked to centre the ball. It was the right decision, wrong execution, and Morgan Aquino hasn't had much to do this afternoon, but she stood up in a big way on that occasion. Gomez, she's been industrious in the middle of the park for the Mariners. That's a good switch of play. Bryson in good space. Ergamal looking for the run. It's a good shot from Bryson. Comfortable work from Morgan Aquino. Saw the ball early. Strong hand to parry that out for a Central Coast corner. But we'll come back to that in a moment. Here's a good foray forward for the Mariners. Galich trying to get a shot away. It's bundled into the back of the net and it is Roller Badawia. Getting the Central Coast Mariners back on level terms at Gosford. The goal has been disallowed, we think. Have a look where Paige Hayward is standing. Yep, I think it's that Hayward offside position. She's gotten the first touch from the cross from Galich, so great call. Good refereeing. It was a close one. Good strength shown by Grace Jale. Rigby's kept on, looks to scoop across into the middle of the park. It's as easy as you like for Millie Farrow. She makes it a brace for the afternoon. She extends the lead for Perth Glory. The Central Coast Mariners defence melted away. And Millie Farrow said thank you very much. Langman off her line well. Nice distribution. Bryson finds a run of Badawia. That run has been so effective for her all afternoon. And Badawia winds one up. And in case there was any doubt about the first one, there is absolutely none about that. That is a fine, fine strike from Roller Badawia. In her third of the season, well, she's given the Central Coast Mariners a lifeline. Millie Farrow's brace guides Perth Glory to victory as she now takes her goal tally this season to six, her best ever league return. The final match of the round takes us to the Hunter as Newcastle Jets face Adelaide United. The Jets are gunning for their 50th win in the Liberty A-League and will have full confidence to do so, having won 11 games against Adelaide United, their best record against any team in the competition's history. Meanwhile, Adelaide United have turned their season around, having secured two straight victories after winning just one of their 20 games prior to this run. Raleigh Dobson and Taryn Heddo are your commentators. Nice ball from Dundas looking to release Lauren Allen. Look how quick Lauren Allen can be. He's found the feet of Serena Bolden who shoots just over the crossbar. A fantastic early opportunity and a wonderful save from Annie Grove. Corner in now for Newcastle. Cleared just about Allen. We'll hit it back to Dundas who shoots. Blocked away. And that would have been some moment for the 16 year old. Couldn't find its way through the tangle of bodies. Bauman trying to find Bolden. It comes out for Hoban. Sophie Hoban squares it. Dundas can't get it through to Bolden. And this little bit of just chaotic defending here, Adelaide United are under the pump already. Adelaide, they've had more possession, but 
haven't necessarily created the most chances so far. I'm surprised by the possession stat. It doesn't feel like Adelaide have had the majority of the possession because of how Newcastle have utilised their possession a lot more. Well, here goes Dylan Holmes, one on one with the keeper. Rounds her, Dylan Holmes! Opens the scoring for Adelaide United. Well, just like last week, she's done it again. And it's the away side who go one goal to the good. This is the Dylan Holmes that we love to see. Lee. Searching for Dorba. He's cut out, though, and Newcastle now. Cass Davis to Bauman. Bauman, lovely ball over the top, finding Cope. It's Brown who shoots and equalises for Newcastle. Well, they've had the better of this opening 15 minutes and Copas Brown puts it away. What a pass by Bowman. Absolutely put on a silver platter. And that ball, probably not the right one, straight back to Pryor and, and Jens will now have the opportunity to do the same, but maybe both teams just needing a breather. It's been a frantic first 19 minutes or so of this game. It's been end to end and we knew this was coming. And here's a long ball, Bauman chasing it down. She'll put in the cross, Bauman headed away. Well, Marushka Waldus had to make sure of it, but that header could have gone anywhere. Certainly a prolific goal scorer, Serena Bolden. 28 for the Philippines and three and four games so far this season. Here comes the corner, in swinging. And it's in the back of the net. Natasha Pryor makes it two for Newcastle. Well, no one was there to clear away for Adelaide. And Pryor says, thank you very much. And what a time to finish as well. A beautiful ball in from Libby Copas brown and really work it across switching from left to right. Sasaki delivers a header and saved by Nino. This was a beautiful ball in by Sasaki, which she's well known for. Adelaide trying to play out from the back. Sasaki was dropping deep to make it happen. Oh, lovely touch from Dorba. Just to release the substitute Morgan, but Morgan's ball. Headed away by Pryor. Lauren Allen, ball forward to Serena Bolden. Is she on side here? Serena Bolden, flag stay down. Bolden makes it three for Newcastle. It is what she does, the Philippines International. And it's 3-1 here. She is the player that is going to be the most influential for the Newcastle Jets in terms of what she does. Melina Ayres was almost there to drive that ball with her head into the goal. Lauren and once Allen again... Delivering acrobatic from Melina Ayres. My goodness. That would have been quite something. The Jets end 2023 on a high with a 3-1 win at home. And this game also marks a momentous occasion for Jets defender Gemma Simon, who becomes just the sixth player to reach 150 Liberty A-League appearances. That brings us to the end of all the 2023 action in the Liberty A-League. We'll see you next week.